today we will see rat as a an animal model rat as a an animal model rat is most commonly used animal model and the source of many of the inbred rats which we use in our laboratory today is norway rat or ratus norvegicus and from this ratus norvegicus we have inbred rats such as vistar and sprague dolly rats which belong to albino rat group or simply pink eyed rats and we prefer vistar and sprague dolly rats because they are easy to handle and they are sensitive and low cost of maintenance and what are nude rats nude rats are simply rats which lack normal thymus because of which they don't have functional mature t cells and they will have very fine sparse hair or no hair at all and they are best preferred in immunological research why rats are used as animal models rats and humans share nearly 30000 similar genes they are more social and they mimic human behavior and they physiology resembles more of humans and easy to rear than less expensive shorter life span and storage conditions make them a ideal ideal choice which disorders are studied better with rat models so in diabetes mellitus obesity cardiovascular diseases such as stroke and hypertension and behavioral studies such as cognition and memory and toxicology studies are done mostly with rat models and the fields which use rat models are physiology pharmacology neuroscience immunogenetics transplantation cancer risk assessment and studies to study aging so what are the difference between vista rat and sprague dolly rat vista rat it has a wide head whereas sprague dolly has long and narrow head vista had vista rat tail length is less than the body length sprague dolly rat tail is longer than the body length how to differentiate between baby rat and mice baby rat it has blunt and broad large head mice has triangular and small head relative to the body size baby rat has small ears mice has large ears baby rat hind paw and body ratio is larger whereas for mice hind paw and body ratio is small for baby rat tail is thick and short whereas for mice it's thin and long so what are the com- commonalities between vistar and sprague so sprague dolly and other albino rats they do not vomit because they have a strong sphincter between the stomach and esophagus they also have no vomiting center they do not have a tonsil or and gall bladder they have diffuse pancreas so it is not recommended to study type 1 diabetes with these rats and they eat their own stool feces this is termed as coprophagy and they tail helps in the function of thermoregulation or regulating the body temperature precautions to be taken before handling rats before restraint we have to pet the rat or by gently stroking the rat we should avoid overcrowding when we shelter them and we have to keep the noise minimal and do, we should not hold the rats too hard because it can cause suffocation and eventually death of them and we should never agitate the animal otherwise they will become more aggressive and violent so what should we feed the rat it's same as human a diet containing proteins carbohydrates lipids fibers vitamins some ions and elements it commonly uh, is available as a commercial food uh, which is approved by the government of india so ways to handle rat we one way is to lift by the tail and place it on soft surface if it's rough surface the animal will get agitated 
and to place the in the second way is to place the index and the middle finger along the rat head, thumb and ring finger under the four legs, and remaining fingers to support the body. And the third way is to hold complete body by grabbing the back using the com using complete palm. So these are the three different ways to handle rat. Gender identification. Theme, the distance between the urinary opening and the genital opening will be long, longer in male rats compared to female rats. So general information on rats, gen then generally they weigh somewhere between 150 grams to 400 grams. They live for 2 to 4 years. They require around 187 into 14 centimeter floor space. Their food intake is 100 gram per day, water intake is 100 ml per day. Gestation period is 21 to 23 days and temperature is to be maintained between 19 to 23 degrees Celsius and humidity they require is 40 to 70 percent. Vital parameters of rat, their rectal temperature is generally 36 to 40 degrees Celsius, heart rate is between 250 and 450. Blood pressure we can uh, remember the middle range of somewhere 110 systolic 60 diastolic blood volume 60 ml per kg the middle value between 54 and 70 and respiratory rate around 19 and tidal volume between 0.6 and 2 ml when we inject rats the iv when we give iv or when we withdraw blood intravenously, the preferred vein is dorsal tail vein. We can use a 21 or 23 perch. We should not do more than two pricks per day and in one prick we can get 0.2 ml or 50 microliter. Other sites which where we can uh, withdraw venous blood is serpinous vein, sublingual vein, retroorbital vein. When we give IM injection, preferred site is thigh and when we give subcutaneous injection, the preferred site is the scruff at the nape of the neck. So the references of this lecture are uh, as follows. Thank you.